and welcome to chapter 10, section 2. Today we're learning about frequency and histograms. When they teach frequency, they like to teach stem and leaf plots. You've seen this before, but you've seen it, you know, one day, sometime a year or two ago, so we're going to review it really quick. A stem and leaf plot is important because it shows the frequency of the numbers and the spread of the data that you have. So the tens column, or sometimes the tens and the hundreds column, is the stem, and the leaf is the ones column, or sometimes the one and tens, depending on the data that you have. And when you have a two and then a line and a three, that means 23. This is our key, and every time you draw a stem and leaf plot, you have to draw a key. So they give you a list of numbers, and they ask you to put them in the stem and leaf plots. Here we have our frame and all of the tens digits are the stems and those are going to go in this column and the one digits are in the leaves. So we're going to go through this and we're going to look for the lowest tens digit that we have and here we have a nine which is a zero in the tens spot and it's the only one so it's a nine in the ones spot. Then we have a bunch of tens, and we're gonna list them in order. So I'm gonna cross that out. Two and four and eight and eight, and these are in numerical order. Now, it shows us that there are a whole bunch of 20s and not a bunch on the lower or upper end. And we can look to see that there are a bunch of 24s. And of course, we have to add our key, and this is how you do a stem and leaf plot. And because this is algebra and you get everything taken to the next level, we're going to do a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot where we take the bowling scores of two different people and we're going to uh, put them on the same stem and leaf plot where the stem is the same and Bill's leaves go this way and Marty's leaves go this way. So sometimes a 14 and a one is 141 and a 14 with a three on this side is 143. So two sides, two parts to the key. A three and a seven, three and nine. So we can see we do put the 15 in the middle to show that there's a break here. You don't want to skip it because you want this to pictorially show you what the information is. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Go ahead and try checkpoint number one on the bottom of page 709. Pause here. Come back when you're done. You should have a stem and leaf plot with 0, 1, 2, and 3 with your numbers all in order and a key. A frequency table is a table that shows the number of times that a category occurs. So you're gonna find the least and greatest values. You're gonna divide the data into equal intervals, which means you count by twos or you count by fives or hundreds or whatever's convenient. And then you're going to count how many of them, how frequent it is in each interval. For example, if you're given a list of numbers that look like this, you're going to find the least and the greatest. It goes from 68 to 82. We're going to divide this into equal intervals. And if we divide this into about five groups, we've got intervals of about three. So I've counted every three numbers as my categories. And I'm essentially going to make a frequency table and it's got a title. And these are the scores. And these are the frequency. Now, when I do a frequency table, I've also got a column out on the side where I keep um, tally marks. Otherwise, I lose track. And it's actually easy to put them over here as well. Or a column down the middle. Doesn't matter to me. 77, 71. So I've got three, four, six, two, one. Done. That's it, frequency table. So please try, check it out number two, pause here, come back when you're done. And this frequency table shows the days of vacation and I've broken it down into 
intervals, those same th intervals of three days each. I've got my little tally marks. I've got my numbers, my frequencies there. If you did yours slightly differently, that doesn't make it wrong. Uh, it just means you have to double check your stuff, okay? A histogram is a bar graph that shows data from intervals. A regular bar graph shows different categories. Hamburger, hot dog, sandwich, that kind of thing. A histogram is a bar graph that shows the data from intervals. And because it's from intervals, they all connect because it's all the same category. How we differentiate them is just the intervals. So we're gonna use the intervals from the frequency table and we're going to create a bar graph where the bars are the same width and they touch. So the scores are going to be the same intervals here and the frequency is gonna go up the side. So we've got 68 to 70 is three. So here's our first one and that's a histogram. It's got a title, it's got a word on the side, it's got a word on the bottom, it's got regular intervals, not I've got a bunch of these and then a bunch of those and this one is three inch long and this is five and this is only two. They're all three. They're all whatever. Title, word, word, regular increments, regular increments. Okay, pause here and try, check it out number three. Come back when you're done. Check it out number three's histogram is days of vacation. And I've got frequency here and number of days here and a histogram bars that touch here. Please ask if you have any questions. A cumulative frequency table counts as you go. So again, they give you a huge list and again, you choose the intervals, but you count and you add them as you go. Yes, you still have a title and all of that. So we're, we've got our same intervals and we're gonna go ahead and count them again. 71, 73, one, zero. And this is, Cumulative is convenient when you want to know how many players are 76 inches or less. So you want to know all of these. So after you do the first one, you have six in that category, you have six total. You have eight in the second category, which gives you 14 total. Five in the third category, which gives you 19 total. And then one more is 20 total. So this is a cumulative record of these scores and it's always zigzagging down. So when they say how many are under 74 inches, that does not include 74. So that's 73 and less, that's here up. So that's gonna be 14, make sense? Please do check it out number four, pause here and come back when you're done. So our check it out number four asks for vowels per sentence. We have vowels and frequency and cumulative frequency and I've broken them up into intervals of four and I have their basic frequency and then their total cumulative frequency, okay? Please make sure you ask if you have any questions. So our homework for 10-2 is gonna start on page 713. You're doing seven to 17 all. Thank you much and I'll see you tomorrow.